it's Katie and welcome to my corner of the world. So today I have a collab for you. So we are doing a colors collab um, and there are about 10 channels involved. I will also put them and the playlist in the description. And so what we had to do was we had to choose a color that we wanted uh, someone else to send to us and then we in turn would send and somebody else the color they wanted. It, um, we had a whole bunch of colors that we could choose from. Um, so if you want to find out what my color was and what I got from the person who sent to me, come join me. Welcome. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. My name is Katie and on my channel I do all kinds of unboxings, subscription boxes, mystery boxes, boxes from Etsy. I also do hauls, lifestyle, beauty, clothes, food, you name it. If you've shopped for it, I have probably hauled it. That sounds good. Please consider it, or hitting the subscribe button down there. It is completely free and it would mean the world to me. Also, turn on the bell notification. That will let you know when I have new content that goes up. You never know when that content might have giveaway in it. it and in fact, stay tuned to the end. And of this one, oh, let me tell you a little bit about this color tab. Like I said, had, there are a bunch of channels involved and we each got to choose a color. Now we couldn't choose the same color. Rena from Boxes and Deals, as, as usual, is our fearless leader and made sure that we uh, were all in line and, and did not pick the same color. Uh, when my colors, I had told her three different ones that I would like. My first one I think was teal and that was taken like almost immediately. And then I said burgundy or green. Burgundy was still available when it came my turn. So that is the color that I got. Uh, and Jenny A from Jenny June own, sent the box to me. I in turn sent my box to Sherry at Wicked Awesome Lifestyles. So you will have to go over there and see what Sherry got from me. A, a, but in the meantime, Let's get into the box that Jenny sent to me. And I did open it up. I just wanted to make sure that nothing was broken because this did arrive while I was on vacation. And I tried not to look at too much, but I just wanted to peek. Like some of my boxes sat out in the rain. And, um, you know, oh, who knows what happened. So I did, I did have a little sneak peek. Like, um... So the reason I chose burgundy, burgundy is, is one of my favorite colors. There's green is probably my favorite. I do love a teal or a blue with my eyes, but burgundy is, is I, when I was thinking about a color, I thought that, that what would, what would A be somewhat easy for someone and B, A, would they be able to find a lot of different things in that I would use? Was, I love uh, to wear burgundy. Hey, when I looked it up, they said burgundy was as a mix of reds and purples. Well, and and that is probably why I really like it. I, I can't wear a like bright cherry red. It just doesn't look great with my skin tone. Oh, but the burgundy with the purple, oh, which is, of course has blues in it, it, it does really well with my skin tone. Oh, so <laughs> Jenny did send it. A card. Look how pretty that is. I love daisies. Let's see if I can open it. Katie, I enjoyed shopping you for this color collab. I hope you like everything. Most of it came from Amazon, so if you need an exchange, let me know. Oh, hugs, Jenny June. Aw, thank you, Jenny. Hey, but I thought, as far as burgundy, like it would be easy to find clothing. But I also wear like burgundy lips. I'm okay with like a uh, burgundy eyeshadow because I can really blend it out and blend it with browns and other things. Um, burgundy and gold is like my favorite combination for Christmas. So I thought, you know, decor would be easy for her. So I am glad I went with burgundy. Hey, so let's start out here on the top. Up, and I'll tell you a little bit more about the color burgundy as we go along. So first thing is wrapped up here. It looks like a pumpkin. Not something I usually associate with burgundy. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. Ooh, look at that. 
Uh, so you can see the orange, but you also do see, that's just like um, some material. Oh, uh, the kind of like burgundy glaze on top. Isn't that pretty? Hey, that is gorgeous. That'll go really good. Like, you know, this is just my background, but uh, look how well that matches there. All right, this will match great with my a, um, fall decor, like down in my living room. Um, I really like that. Uh, so, oh, uh, you know, I, I kind of chose burgundy. I didn't know really any meaning behind it. Uh, so, oh, I went and looked it up. Uh, and and first of all, it's apparently inspired by the region of France where the burgundy wine comes from. I used to be a big red wine drinker. I'm not anymore. Or I still love the taste of it. It just might, it doesn't like me. Oh, how pretty. More decor. All right, bless this home. Look how pretty those will look together. Like up on my mantle or something. Dang, how pretty. Or I have like a little like coat rack when you first walk in that has like a table on it. Oh, it looks so pretty there. All right, throughout the fall. Thank you. Oh, oh the other things I found were that and it is a symbol of ambition, wealth, and power. Well, I don't think any of that really a, covers me. Maybe ambition. Um, although, like, I've reached a point in my career where I'm like, I'm happy here. I don't know if I need to go further. Or my boss might hate that answer. Or because a lot of people in my field are, like, super ambitious. Yes, but I, I like a good mix of home and work and in my profession and you are almost expected to, oh, you know, have a solid separation between the two. In fact, you know, don't even talk about home at work. Here, let's see what's in here. Ooh, refresh your car, event clip yep, in, in a is it cranberry or cherry? Very cherry. Ooh, my car could definitely use a uh, smell refresh. They're carting around kids. The other thing I found was that it said it's like more sophisticated and serious than a true red. I don't know about sophisticated, but I definitely, you know, when I think of red, I think of like fiery and energetic. I am definitely that like pulled back person from there and have a more seriousness about me. One of the things I found on there that it, it's a color of intensity and individuality, but the person and who is like a burgundy can be thought of as like uptight, but it's more that uh, because they're shy. Hey, so oh, they said that hey, burgundy is like compassionate and shy. A, a, so more sympathetic and introverted. I thought, yeah, that that definitely speaks to me. That I, I do think I can come off probably as uptight eight or or um, or something. But it, it, it's really my awkwardness and my shyness that is coming through. I looked at this. I thought, yeah, burgundy probably describes me pretty well. Oh, let's keep going though here because I'm being awkward trying to describe this and Jenny did an amazing job with this. Okay, next we have a from uh, Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. It's a lipstick. Ink crayon. Let's look at the color on here. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. That would go actually probably really well with what I have on right now. I'm not going to put it on. Only because I find like trying to like use my a phone as a mirror does not work real well. So, but I like that a lot. But oh, look how pretty. This is going right on. I think this will match really well. Ooh. Oh, I like this so that you can kind of make it like whatever her length you want. Let's put this on a couple of times here. All right. Oh, I like that. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Hey, great job, Jenny. Okay. Looks like we have like maybe a little palette here. 
This is from Revlon. Let's see if we can get this out. Um, and this is the Maverick in Rebel, and it definitely does have a burgundy there. Look how pretty that is. This is like this is my home at Christmas. These golds and burgundies. These I love that color combo. Well, I mean, I have it on right now. Black, burgundy, gold. That's my color combination, like egg for the winter. Or right. that is really pretty. Okay, I think we have one more item. Um, it looks like we have some clothing, maybe. Let's take this out. Oh, and that's pretty. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. Oh, I love that. I love, like, the lace at the top. Oh, that is super pretty. Okay. So, Jenny, thank you so much. You did a great job. I love... I mean, I have jewelry, I have clothing, I have makeup, I have home decor. Her, she hit all the areas. As she really knocked it out of the park. I am so happy with everything. Thank you so, so much. All right, so a little bit of a spoiler. Her, Sherry, who I sent to, picked pink. Pink. So, oh, I went with the pinkest box I know for my giveaway items, a glossy box. So I have this glossy box stuffed full of items. And let me pull this off and I will show you what we have in here. So at the top, I have a couple of uh, face masks. I have the collagen face mask. And then I have the Soon Peony Foot Masks. I love these things. These are so nice. This is nice, too. I've tried this. As both of those are really, really nice. Um, I have the Suave Pink Smooth Performer. This is a sulfate-free um, shampoo, conditioner, er, and um, cream. Aim. It's just a little sample size that we got in our Walmart box. Next, I have a, a makeup eraser in the standard pink color. I have this lip mask. This is from Lux Beauty Lip Mask. Next, I have a little thing of Batiste uh, dry shampoo. Oh, and then I have in that's in here. I have a thing of uh, coconut facial cleaning wipes from Beauty Concepts. From Wander Beauty, I have of the Wanderless Glow. This is a highlighter. And apparently... Okay, this has never been opened, so I'm not going to open this. I'm going to leave it right like this, but it is a really pretty highlighter from Wonder Beauty. Okay, from Elemon Beauty, okay, I have an eyeshadow duo. Oh, and that is in like a pink and a champagne, almost a lavender. Or this is in Ariel and Luna. And then from Lorac, I have the Pro Liquid Lipstick, and this is in a Black Cherry. So I had to throw in at least one burgundy item for you, right? Okay, so that is that. The rules for the giveaway are similar to the rules on any other giveaway on my channel and, and any of the collabs that I do. So you do need to be subscribed to all of the channels. You do not need to participate in all of their giveaways. In fact, I'm not sure all of the channels will be having giveaways. They may be hidden and some channels will have them, some will not. But, but, um, but you do need to be subscribed to everyone. Please like this video. Oh, um, comment down below. Use the word burgundy eh, because that's my color. Um, uh, this is in no way affiliated with YouTube or any of the uh, other 
or products or things that are in here. Everything that is in this giveaway was paid for. It might be everything in this give give everything in this giveaway was either paid for by me or I received in a subscription box that I pay for. The giveaways will stay open until September 30th. So oh, on October 1st, I will draw the winner. Or they will either be announced on October 1st or possibly on October 2nd. Or if you do win my a giveaway, I do send by U.S. Postal Service. This one is open just to the, the 50 a continental states. Um, it is a little heavy, so oh, I don't want to. Uh, the shipping prices are just outrageous, so I can't really ship it at beyond and and the U.S. on this one. And um, once I give it to the post office, is they take over or anything that is lost or broken at that point, I am not responsible for, nor can I replace. Okay, so again, Jenny, thank you so much. Uh, I love all of my burgundy colors. Uh, make sure you check out uh, what I sent to Sherry hey, and check out the playlist and watch all of the wonderful ladies in this collab. That is it. That is everything I have for you today. Until I see you next time, have a great day. Bye.